So I would cry about this and not tell anybody. I had to tell my mom or my teachers that this was happening. The boy was blackmailing me and she got mad. So I got an ass whooping, like a really bad one. In your eyes, there's a heavy blue. Want to love and want to lose. Sweet divine, a heavy truth. What a one, don't make me choose. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I want to go ahead and create this makeup look for you. I am kind of in a rush, so I am just doing a very light kind of a hairdo. It's nothing fancy schmancy. Light earrings and then a light dress and very nice kind of a smoky, colorful eye look. I'll list all the products that I've used in the DP. Also, do not forget to follow me on all my social medias. All my handles will be down below along with it floating somewhere on the screen. And before we continue rambling because the video is kind of long let's go ahead and jump right into it I didn't sleep all night I slept around like six because there were some weird like noises going on in my room I don't know if like you guys have this but like randomly I don't know it sounded like it was like winds going through my pipes and then it started turning into like little cat sounds in like our vents or something and it was just kind of creepy, like, you know, nobody else was hearing it. So I even called my sister around, like, 1.30 or 2.00. I was like, hey, Ashley, do you hear this? Is it coming in your room, too? She said no. So it was just in my room. And personally, to me, it was really creepy. So, like, I stayed up just, like, watching <laughs> cartoons and reading, like, Subak, like, the Quran and stuff. Just hoping it'll go away and I can fall asleep. And eventually, when I started to fall asleep... My dad woke me up for Fudger Prayer, and then I went to sleep, sleep, like around 6.30 and woke up at like 1, almost, or 12.30, and oh, it was just such a bad night. That's why my eyes probably look so puffy and dark, and my hair looks a mess right now. Today, I want to go ahead and film another makeup tutorial because I just do. I feel like I need to. So I am back with it, but I'm looking for my moisturizer. Like, where is it? Can you believe it? How sad is it? I have two of these. They're both almost empty, so I gotta get more because it's like my favorite. I'm just gonna go ahead and let that sink in. So I'm just gonna use a little bit of the Urban Decay Primer. do a double layer of the age rewind just because my eyes are so dark this really just helps me cover them up better because let's get bothered with my eyeshadow Lagana Jatium it goes on really nicely and very smoothly all right so once I have my concealer set and my eyes look like a very nice kind of a blank canvas I am going to be using the NYX's HD finishing powder and this is going to go over my eyelids just to set the concealer and it's also just going to really help define the eyeshadows more if I don't put this on I won't be able to blend my shadows so it is very important for you to always 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 have a pressed powder or some kind of a powdered foundation um, over your eyelid First, I'm going to go in with like a copper kind of a burnt orange color and just apply this all in my crease along with also bringing this out. We are going to clean this up later if you're not liking the way it looks. It's completely fine. I know this is going to be a very bright color for now, but we will tone it down after. Just kind of work this on your outer and then also bring it down. Next we're going to go into Gumdrop from the Gingerbread Palette and we're going to be applying this in the crease as well. Like this one is extended out more towards the brow bone. This is kind of just going to stay in the outer and also just in the crease. This is really just going to define the crease more. Don't make me too hard, Next I'm going to be using a uh, Figgy Pudding with my finger. Ring finger, I'm just gonna pack this on the center of my lid. I'm just gonna use a smaller crease brush and blend the outer edge of this purple. 
So using a flatter, fluffier brush, I'm going to go ahead and now start defining the lower lash line to be exactly like my upper lash line. Now I've already got the orange, the burnt copper. I've already got the burnt orange or copper just going on under my lashes. I'm going to go ahead and start using the other shades that I applied on the upper lid. Just kind of making sure that, you know, they merge and be in the corner of the eye. Then using a flatter one, I'm going to go into the figgy pudding and apply that closer to the lash line. But again, also just making sure that it kind of blends in to the lash line. So right now I'm just going to go ahead and take my blending brush and really just re-blend everything. So I'm going to be using Spice of Nice from the gingerbread, uh, gingerbread palette and I'm just kind of going to go on the outer um, edge of the whole look and lightly feather this, blending it in to the burnt orange. I'm telling you, right now it looks weird, but it's going to look good when we're done. I hope. Taking an angled brush and a black eyeshadow, I'm going to go ahead and apply this close to the lash line because when I applied my pressed powder along with my um, concealer and my primer, there is now left a bare skin, kind of a gap in my lashes that I just want to press this shadow into. We're going to fill in our eyebrows and then we're going to move on to the foundation. Have you ever just wanted to like sit there and fight your brows because right now I do both of my eyebrows like piss me off this one here Just has like no freaking angle like if I if you look at it from a side view It looks fine, but if you look at it like this it just looks like it's It's kind of like lumpy and bubbly on the end, but it's not Huh? Uh? 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 You know what I mean? It just it's pissing me off like it's just one of those days actually with my brows It's always those days. It just pisses me off Next, I am going to be using the concealer. I am using the Anastasia's Beverly Hill in the shade 3.0. And I am going to use this to outline my eyebrows and just clean it up a smidge. Now, I'll be honest with you, I also suck at cleaning up my brows. I might, like, you know, by accident, remove a whole brow. So for my eyebrows, I am using Spiked Eggnog from the gingerbread palette and just really going to highlight the brow bone. Right now I'm going to go ahead and apply a highlight in the inner corner and I'm going to be using my finishing spray along with just a little brush. This is just going to pick up more shadow and it's just going to add a very defined highlight to the corner. I am going in with the Ofra Cosmetics blush strips. Now here's the fun part. I'm going to be using Warm and Toasty right here and I'm going to apply this right in the center of my lid. Let me zoom in a little. I'm going to apply this right in the center of my lid. This is just going to warm up the look so much more. Using a flat brush, I'm going to go ahead and spray it. This is just a very precise flat brush. I'm going to go into Warm and Toasty and also apply this right under my lower lash line. I'm going to apply my lashes last. I'm going to move on to my foundation right now. So there's a question that asks, what like, you know, I was just and when I was in Pakistan, I was a very quiet, shy kid up until like fifth grade. I was a very shy and very quiet kid. Like I barely spoke to people. I'm going to go ahead and apply my Anastasia concealer as well and uh, fix this under eye problem right now. I think I got in a lot of trouble. I came to America and I didn't know how to speak English. so. Teacher assigned somebody who spoke Urdu to me, another student who understood and spoke Urdu. Um, so he was like doing all of my 
communications in the class and and like you know talking to the teacher whenever i needed to go to the bathroom do anything if i had a question he would do it for me so i hated the food here when i first came i hated peanut butter and jelly i had to take it because everybody here is like required every student is required to eat or the teacher gets in trouble so the teacher's like oh if you can't get anything else you have to get pb pb and j sandwich and i was kind of like okay whatever so i got that Hated it when I first took a bite, took the whole sandwich, smushed it up into a little ball and stuck it, like shoved it under the cafeteria table. I did that almost every day for a few weeks. And when that boy found out, like when he found out I was doing all this, he said, I'm not going to tell a teacher. I'm not going to tell on you, you know, like I'm not going to do that. But you have to bring me a dollar every single day. So I started doing it because I felt like if I did, he was just going to tell the teacher and I was going to get in trouble and I was going to be forced to uh, eat the PB&J sandwich. So I would cry about this and not tell anybody. I didn't tell my mom or my teachers that this was happening. The boy was blackmailing me for a dollar every day because I didn't want to eat a sandwich. Um, so every day I took him a dollar for a few weeks. One day he upped. He upped the amount that he wanted. You know, it's already hard for a little kid who's like in second grade, who's like seven years old, to find a dollar around the house. He wanted me to find $10 around the house. My parents had a grocery store, so I stole like $10 worth of change from them. And I put like all the change in the bottom of my bag. And that day, my mother decided to check our bags. Like she did some kind of an investigation because I don't know why it went through her mind to check our bags that exact day. And she found all that change. She's like, what are you doing with this? I did answer her and I just said, I just wanted it. She's like, where'd you take it from? And I said, I stole it from your closet and she got mad so i got an ass whooping like a really bad one i went into school and i was forced to eat a sandwich because i didn't have the ten dollars for him so he snitched on me the teachers next day called my parents and said that i wasn't allowed to eat the food from the school that you know they had to pack lunch for me from now on um and my parents did that but they never found out like why i was taking the money or why i took it I told my mom like two, three years ago and she was so angry and pissed off <laughs> that I did that. And she was like, you should never let anybody blackmail you. If any, like, you know, if anything like this ever happens, you have to inform, you know, your parents or somebody so they can help you out and everything. As a child, you don't think about all this, you know, you really don't. And I think that was the one time I really had a bad ass whooping. I had it many times, but that was like one of the times that I remember. This is also like a lesson for everybody else that's going through similar situations. Don't ever let anybody blackmail you. Tell somebody.
right guys so this is the overall look hopefully you enjoyed it and if you did please don't forget to thumbs it up also leave a comment down below of what you'd like to see next also do not forget to hit the subscribe button along with the bell notification to be notified when new videos do go up i'm trying to come up with a better schedule and follow me on socials i'll see you guys later bye